One of the neat things about Myrtle Beach is that we've been familiar with this club Studebakers for years. Hey, buddy. Howdy. I love the shirt. Well, thank you. Do you love the car? Oh, I do love it. Is it your car? Unfortunately, no. It's that gentleman right back there. He went to the car show and all he got was this t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it for today. That's a Myrtle Beach landmark and the Studebaker's one of those great automobiles. You really don't see a lot of those on the road anymore. Thank you, my friend. Let's talk to the guy who owns this. I think I've probably seen this car cruising around Belmont, North Carolina, right? That's where we're from, mm -hmm. Belmont. Everybody. How do I know these things? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. We've uh, we really enjoy the Studebakers. I remember these cars when I was a uh, young child at my grandparents' house. The lady used to come, and I remember that body style. And about uh, six, seven years ago, I, I seen a car on the side of the road in a car lot, and I said, "That's the car I remember." So, ever since then, we've had about we've had about four of them now since, and we finally found the one we like to keep and everything. You know, the neat thing about the American automobile is that. It Grandmas don't cruise in cars like this anymore. What happened, Grandma? Yeah, yeah, these cars were very, very powerful in their day. Uh, the 57 Golden Hawk was uh, the fastest U.S. production car in existence in 57 uh, with a super, I mean, turbo, supercharger, excuse me, and everything. This is a Silver Hawk here, a little more less, a little less power, but uh, still very uh, ahead of their time. You know, Studebaker, I've been told, was the first with a padded dash, first with disc brakes. Uh, First with seat belts, they were very safety conscious and everything and had a lot of power in their day and everything. Uh, I think I love the lines. I like the fin talks myself. Uh, this 57 to 61 was a fin talk and uh, these were actually bolt on, believe it or not, and everything. They used the same body from 53 to 61 and uh, I just love the lines of it and everything myself, you know. Well, you get to do a lot of traveling. You also uh, like Camaros as well. Yeah, we've had used to have a Camaro pace car, uh, 69 and everything. We had several Camaros, a couple of Camaros, and uh, still have a lot of friends that have the Camaros and everything, but uh, i always been one liking something a little different and everything. Well, before you leave Myrtle Beach, make sure you swing by the club Studebaker's. Great photo op for you. That's what we plan on doing, plan on doing and taking some pictures in front of the place there, you know. Uh, we like Studebaker's. We've got a 35 Dictator Coupe Studebaker also, but uh, uh, this car seems to stand out a little more at this type of show and everything. A lot of uh, red street rods here, you know, mm -hmm. and everything. So, but uh, we, we're proud of this car and rides good, runs good, and uh, uh, like to travel in it and everything. Ronnie Clemens, thank you for your time, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate Happy it. motoring in your Studebaker. I, I love it. <laughs> A Studebaker here on Tiger TV. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building.